Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're on to review number 140 and today we're playing Heavy Shredding. Now, I didn't really have high hopes for this game when I popped it in. There's very few snowboarding games that I've played that have really impressed me and none of them were before PlayStation 1, so I didn't really end up expecting all that much here. And it pretty much played out the exact way I thought it would. It wasn't that fun and the controls are a bit stiff. I mean, I do like that there's music playing while you're actually going down the course, but the controls are where it kind of falls apart. It doesn't feel really that great to control, and I found myself getting bored really quickly playing this one. There was just nothing really here for me to grab onto. It's just a really subpar snowboarding game. And even though I got to try it a couple different times in the five minutes I got to play, it didn't really get any easier or any more fun each time. I mean, sure, I got a little better at it each time I gave it a go, but I just feel like there's something missing that could make this game a lot better. I mean, it's not really a problem with the level design or the AI in this game, it's just it's just the game itself doesn't have a pleasant feel to it. But I mean, if we take a look at the cover of the game, the cover looks super awesome, like I would expect a snowboarding game to look. And we'll read the description on the back to see what it has to say about the game. Heavy shredding! Part skiing, part skateboarding, part surfing, it's snowboarding! The radical winter sport that's taking the country by storm. Speed down the slopes at up to 50 miles per hour on a single board without poles. The heavy shredding trademark video game puts you there. Survive your runs and ride the half pipe. You'll need to master stunts like mule kicks, hand plants, mid-air 360s, and rocket tweaking toe grabs. But be sure to keep your eyes on where you're heading because there's obstacles out there ready to rip you up. Come on, all you shredders, get on board. The realism of heavy shredding is uncanny. Nintendo and snowboarding freaks everywhere will be addicted to this game. Wiley Ashler's team editor of International Snowboarding Magazine. I really don't like this description because it really makes it sound a lot better than it is. And hey, maybe snowboarding was new at the time. I don't really know when snowboarding was invented. Or I guess I'll look it up and put it up in this video, but... My point is, this game just wasn't that great. And you know, as a kid, I might have enjoyed it, because it would have been one of those games you just play over and over and over until you get good at. But playing it now, I don't really have the patience for it, and it's not a game that I would just enjoy. Nor is it something that I'd really try and get into. So overall, I'm just giving Heavy Shredding a 6.5 out of 10, and putting this one in the ditch pile. After 5 minutes of this game, I've had more than enough of my fill of this game, and I probably don't want to play it again. But thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.